All right, hey guys, uh, it's Liam or Hey Drisney here. Um, I'm speaking with Kyle from PH360 today. Uh, I wanted to give you guys a bit of a rundown on what we've got planned coming up with our challenge with these guys. Um, so in case you didn't know, I'm the co-owner of Divine Mind and uh, our mission is to create healthier, fitter gamers to er eradicate the terrible stigmas around gaming. So um, I'll quickly introduce Kyle. Uh, Kyle's an international speaker and fitness entrepreneur. He began his career uh, with a degree in exercise science and since then he spent the last 11 years traveling around the world educating and empowering fitness professionals and his clients and taking control of their own health uh, now he's the COO at PH360 Health Professionals and Shape Fit Technologies. Uh, Kyle uses uh, his experience in education and business as he aims to unlock human potential through personalized health and future of uh, techno technology innovations. Uh, so Kyle, wh why, uh, why are we doing this? What are we doing? Uh, well, first of all, thanks for having me on, Liam, and it's, it's super awesome to be jumping in with the Divine Mind crew on this. It's a, actually a really big passion of mine personally to be working in the esports world, uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll explain a little bit more of that as we go through. But essentially, from a PH360 perspective, PH stands for personalized health, uh, 360 degrees of life, so in all aspects of life. and. The big mission of PH360 is to eliminate chronic disease and pain. There's preventable disease that we see on the planet that we know shouldn't be there and there's ways of getting rid of that, okay? And the biggest message in that is that everyone is unique, everyone is different. We all have different needs for food, different needs for exercise, um, our minds work in different ways and we're to really help people when it comes to um, living in best health and, and removing these preventable lifestyle diseases. We need to start to understand the individual and what they unique body needs so that's what we do as ph360 that feeds into a bigger mission of living your potential so everyone's here they've got the unique potential untapped as to what they can achieve as a human being on this planet and we want everyone to achieve and live that potential and i really this is as i said you know we're a technology company but we're leading the way in um in epigenetic based so biological based uh, health intervention and we understand as a tech company that technology has a lot to answer for in health yeah. you know it, 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 it's having a huge impact on health on sedentary living and you know on a personal level this is why i'm really excited for this partnership because growing up i was i was in two worlds one was a sports person so football and basketball and playing all sport and yeah. outside of that i was a gamer yeah so I, so that that was my whole life i grew up in a pretty rough neighborhood back in england and it was sports and gaming that kept me out of trouble yeah and and when you come to me, Liam, and you said, you know, you want to you want to remove the stigma for gamers and you want to make sure gamers are healthy. I was like, this is two passions of mine. You know what we're doing in the tech space here with health in PH360, but also helping gamers to stay healthy because they absolutely can in a world that is evolving. You know, it, 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 that industry is only growing. Uh, the world is only embracing technology more and esports is only going to, going to become bigger and bigger. So how can we kind of work with that to keep people healthy along the way? Yeah, exactly. And, you know, that from our perspective, that's exactly why we wanted to engage with you guys you know like we've got the in with a lot of the gamers and uh you know my background's exactly the same as yours i was a i was a gamer started off playing you know pokemon and, and all those role-playing games as a, as a tiny little kid and uh and swimming i was swimming you know four hours a day the, for, for six years of my life and and i understand that uh when i stopped swimming and kept gaming there were a few real big lifestyle changes that i had to make as well so you know we wanted to make sure that we could partner up with people who you know can help us to eradicate those terrible stigmas but we wanted to do that by you know getting people on board our gamers but also the people that we network with and call our community and um, that can become role models for other gamers you know someone that you know you can look at uh, on stage competing or you know in an interview and be like I, I want to be like that person because I think that in the gaming world there's not enough people like that that you look at and go that person is articulate and fit and healthy and they've got a really good balance in their life and that's something that Divine Mind really wants to do is kind of create that, uh, that that person or those people so you know coming on board with PH360 we believe that you guys with your masterful knowledge you know the incredible resources and the technology that you guys have got uh, and the passion you know I've known you and Cam for a while and I know that it's the message you guys have been living for ages so you know we think that kind of partnering up with you guys we can give more people the opportunity to really be elite gamers so uh in the in the next four weeks uh what are we going to be doing what's kind of the, the outlay in this this challenge we put together brilliant so uh essentially the, the first step in all of this is 
we need to assess uh, the, the, each individual. So each gamer that we're going to be working with, uh, we need to assess their unique biology because as I said at the start, everyone is unique, everyone is different. I'm sure anyone that's been on any kind of health journey in the past or fitness journey, you start reading the magazines, you know, you go online and it's uh, do the paleo diet or do the keto diet. It's super confusing and our message is that everything works for the right person at the right time. So rather than kind of getting lost in the fads and things like that, it's about, right, well, first of all, we need to understand how your unique biology works, how your unique body works. So we have an assessment process that we take you through. Uh, essentially, the technology uh, allows us to non-invasively assess gene and gene expression. So we don't need blood, we don't need saliva. This is the future of where technology is going now. We can, we can measure the outside of the body and actually understand what's going on on the inside, which is a really, really fascinating conversation. So the first kind of intro is we're gonna measure the guys up, we're gonna assess their body, and then they'll get an app and in that app they'll have all different aspects of their lifestyle um, and environment as to what we understand about their hormones, their genes, their, their predispositions, their current health status. All of those markers are quantified in a very, very short period of time. And then from there we can give very specific and practical advice as to how to align your body uh, uh, with your lifestyle and environment in a way that's right for you. So once we do those measurement pro that measurement process, we then get into it and week by week, we're going to work through different areas of a person's lifestyle to al align it with what the body needs. So uh, the first section, we're going to look at, you know, food and exercise. They're, they're obviously the big things that people obviously focus on when it comes to the health. But what the guys are going to find out is uh, some of them will will do really well on like the classic five meals a day, high protein paleo type diet. And some of the guys that get measured actually will do two to three meals a day, will be able to fast a little bit more uh, and will need less less of that, that, that protein. So you'll start to see as we take guides through, different people have completely different protocols and then even when we get into the exercise as well you'll, you'll find some people will do really well with that kind of high intensity crossfit type work whereas some of them will just do be better just getting on the road going for a long cycle going for a, a hike getting out in nature whatever it might be so again all of this is actually quantified in that person's unique biology and then we give them specific personal advice as to what they need to do to to improve the health uh, long term now the really cool stuff about this is we don't just stop at exercise and nutrition. So we do that in the first week. And then from there, we now start looking at all the other areas of a person's life that may influence their health and also the performance. This is the big thing. Like these guys are athletes. These guys are uh, uh, you know, sports people. They, they need to be able to perform at the highest level. So how can we, how can we take the knowledge that we gain uh, from the understanding their biology to not only get them healthy with the food and exercise, but also what we learn from this information is uh, how to deal with stress. Different people deal with stress in different ways. Uh, so, and perceive stress and, and will manage stress in different ways. So we're actually gonna, in week two, work on what we call the mind and the genius, which is your natural strengths based on your biology. So this is where it gets really cool because we can work with the, get the guys and say, right, well, you're the type of brain that will be really fired up by competition. You actually love uh, change, you love challenge, you love variety, and you can deal with um, change and short-term stress very, very well. Whereas another gamer might not be like that at all. Their body might be driven by different hormones and different genes, and they actually need a bit more time and space to think. They like a long-term plan. Uh, they need to map out a process, and yeah. if they if they if they have that long term plan on a process, it reduces stress and they feel really really good. Now, yeah. how cool is this? Because right now it's like, here's you know everyone should deal with stress through meditation, or everyone should do this, and everyone's brain should work like this. And if you want to get the most out of your game, and you need to do it in this one size fits all way. And what we're saying is no. If we can understand your brain, understand how you're motivated, understand how you deal with stress, we can take that information and put that into your gaming world so that when you're in competition, when you're out there performing, you can use the insights from this, not only to lower your stress levels and improve your health, but also improve your gaming performance, which is really, really cool. Um, and then finally, uh, we then go into two areas that are probably the, the least spoken about when it comes to health and performance. Mm. As I mentioned before, food and exercise are always the top two. And then we know the importance of stress and sleep. Mm. That's starting to become more of a conversation now in health. We're talking about stress in the mind a little bit more. So that's in there too. But areas that you might not realize influence your health. Number one is your place, so your environment. So this is where the research in epigenetics is really fascinating because epigenetics is about how the environment controls what genes switch on and off. Now, 
you know, yes, food, yes, exercise, yes, stress, yes, sleep, but also your indoor places, mm. the way your house is set up can actually influence your levels of stress and therefore how your genes express. Getting out in nature, there's some fascinating research coming out now about how spending time in nature can lower blood pressure, lower cholesterol, in, you know, uh, le- lower oxidative stress, lower risks of heart disease. So there's all these little elements that we're, we, we're, we're now understanding that actually influence our, our physiology. So what we're gonna talk about there is, and this is where it gets really cool for the gamer, is how to set your gaming room based on your biology to optimize your performance. Yeah. Which is gonna be really, really cool. I'll give you an example. Like there's some people that are very neurologically sensitive and lots of flashing lights and lots of noise and stuff will actually burn the nervous system out. The focus levels will drop. So with those people, there's a couple of things we wanna do. One, we don't want them in air conditioning because the cold, they've not got a lot of fat and muscle tissue. They get cold easily, which Mm -hmm. will distract the brain. So we want a, a warm room with dim lights so that they can really focus on what it is they're doing. Awesome. Whereas there's other people that will need natural qualities in the room to help them focus more. Mm. So we can actually unpack this from each of the gamers' biologies and actually help them set their internal gaming room for optimal performance. Mm. And then also give them insights on what they can be doing, you know, getting out in nature and things like that to, to improve the health along the way, which is really, really cool. And then just to wrap that up, the final piece of that is your social environment. So um, the, the types of people that you like to hang around with, your communication style, um, all of this again can be mapped back to your biology. And if we can understand this, we can help you with um, making sure you're surrounding yourself with the right people mm. that, that get you and that uplift you and, and put you in a good headspace, number yeah. one. Number two, understanding your communication style and other people's so that you can collaborate within your team because obviously team in the esports world is massive. So collaborate within your team in a really good way so there's no tension in the team, but also have an understanding of how you um, operate in the world with other people so that when you're going up against other teams and things like that, you, you, you've got emotional intelligence based on your biology as to, as to how to deal with those different situations. So again, as I've mentioned, it's a 360 approach. Mm. Very, very fascinating because all of this stuff is, is based on your biology. This is, um, is is understanding how your genes work and how your body works. And from this, we can help personalize and, and essentially biohack aspects of each of the gamers' lives to not only get them healthy and happy, but give them more understanding of how their brain and body works so they can optimize the performance when they're out there in, in competition too. Yeah, and like that's, I feel like anybody that's watching this can be the same as me and have a few goosebumps um, from hearing a lot of that stuff because the, the one thing that, um, I think most people need to take out of it is they hear so often you got to eat properly and you got to exercise and no one is arguing yeah. that that is a really important and effective thing to change but when when there's so much that makes up a person um these other little things that you can make such easy changes to can make such a big difference you know and yeah. you know, a really good example of that is i'm Australian. I grew up in Australia, grew up on the Sunshine Coast around the sunshine, going to the beach every day. And uh, I just recently moved to Canada to kind of chase the esports dream even more. And uh, winter here is just, it kicks me in the bum. It gets overcast, there's no sun, it gets colder. I'm inside and I can just feel my body and the type of person that like loves being outside with nature you know, exploring, being social, that type of stuff, not to mention the effect that COVID's had, um, you know, those two things. And I think that when we're going through, because I'm going to be doing the challenge as well with the guys, um, I'm super pumped to see the differences that it can make in, in my performance, you know, both with just uh, concentration and, and getting stuff done, being productive, but also from a gaming um, standpoint as well. So, you know, it's going to be a fantastic four weeks, so four, four and a bit weeks. And uh, if anyone that watching is watching this wants to keep up with it, I'm going to leave links uh, in either the comments section or the description to where these videos are so you can follow along with the content uh, both ph360 and divine mind will be kind of posting little updates each week uh, if you want to be a part of it you know the best place to start is just being involved in the comment section letting us know what you think about what we're doing uh, and then at the end of the four weeks if this is something that uh, more people want to have uh, and, and access to or, or, or get into that's the next step is making sure that we can help not just our gamers but everybody uh, around the world make these significant changes to live healthier lives and and gain better and, and you know really make have a, it has a role on effect into everywhere in your life you know so um i think it's going to be a fantastic four weeks thank you so much for your time chatting today is there anything you wanted to add in, in signing off no i'm just super looking forward to it guys i think it's um i really love what you're doing i think the mission is is fantastic uh you know 
th this world is only going to keep growing uh, and it's important that we as you say remove the stigma because there's there's no reason why health and esports can't work in the same place you know as i said at the start we're you know we're athletes just like everyone else so we've got to work, work on the brain work on the body keep everything in tip-top shape for performance and for overall health and yeah i'm really excited to see what we can do together Exactly. And, you know, for, for a lot of kids these days as well, gaming or content creation or something around computer gaming, you know, and not just computer gaming, things that you wouldn't necessarily think of, um, you know, five, ten years ago, it can be a career as well. And I think that when people realize that you can take it seriously and there's things and people that you can be associated with that can help you to take it further and, and take it seriously, um, I think that's going to be a really awesome thing to bring into, especially the uh, the gaming scene. I don't think there's too many people doing it. And I think that uh, it's kind of, you know, I love with the, what you were saying about the, the setup as well. You know, for example, um, if you go on Twitch and you look at a lot of content creators now, they are just all surrounded by bright lights and it's dark rooms and it's everything like that and uh, i think a lot of those people uh you know are outward about that they suffer with me you know mental illness or depression and things like that and and just changing those small things that we're going to be covering in this uh can hopefully make a really big difference to a lot of people so Thank you again for your time. Guys, again, if you want to be a part of this, you can shoot myself or Kyle a DM and, and be involved with it. Uh, we love to hear from you guys. And we're doing this to, to really make a significant change. Uh, again, I'm super pumped. Thank you so much. And, and, and to Cam as well for, for all the time that you guys are putting into, into getting this done. Um, I can't wait to see what we get, we achieve. Cheers, guys. Awesome.